It was four years ago today when four Dias airmen lost their lives after the C-130J they were in crashed seconds after takeoff. Family and fellow airmen paid tribute to the fallen in a ceremony just a few hours ago. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez was there and has tonight's top story. The service of six airmen, four of them from Dias, was honored Wednesday at Dias Memorial Park, four years to the minute their plane went down in Afghanistan on October 2, 2015. It's a day to celebrate the lives of those airmen. Lives that are not being forgotten. Their legacy is instead illuminated. The plaque donning the names of the fallen brightened by sunlight at the very minute the crash happened. It was beautiful. You know, it's an honor. Yvette Harris and Fatia Johnson, family of senior airman Quinn Johnson Harris, traveled from states away to see the memorial. They say it's a beacon, reminding others to honor all who serve. They sacrificed for all of us to keep us free. And that's what we need to remember. And that's why this place is so great. It's for the community. It's for the world to see. Gloria Golden, mother of Captain Jonathan Golden, has been back to Abilene every year since her son's death and says this year's anniversary presented her with a new opportunity to connect with others sharing her grief. It is wonderful that we have finally hooked up. And I've talked to a few of the others, and they want to make it out here next year that didn't make it. While those that are lost can never be replaced, those that miss them will always have their memories. Him and I were talking one day, and I asked him, I said, do you, do you still ask Jesus to fly with you? Always, Mom. <laughs> and can take solace in knowing that their light shines on. We know he's in heaven. We know that he's flying with these guys as their wingman. In Abilene, with coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Very emotional. Thank you, Mercedes. Dias Memorial Park honors 79 fallen airmen and civilians who have died while serving at Dias.